Care Act is not just a website. It's much more. Well, President Obama addresses the difficulties surrounding the rollout of the Affordable Care Act. The president admitted to a crowd in the Rose Garden only moments ago the healthcare.gov website has not worked as smoothly as hoped, and many people who have tried to enroll through the program's website have not been able to. Tara Mergeno reports from the White House. President Obama is acknowledging his signature legislation, the Affordable Care Act, got off to a rocky start, thanks to problems with the program's website. The administration announced major changes to the website. They include an option that directs users to apply by phone and by mail. Consumers will be able to view plans without filling out applications with huge amounts of personal information first. And there will also be an improved cost calculator. The botched rollout has been an embarrassment to the White House. Republicans call it ridiculous. Look, it's been a fiasco. Send Air Force One out to Silicon Valley, load it up with some smart people, bring them back to Washington and fix this problem. The White House says nearly half a million Americans filled out applications during the first three weeks of signups, but they won't say how many of them were actually able to enroll. Who signs up is as important as how many sign up. The success of the president's health care plan depends on signing up those younger Americans so that insurance pools don't just get filled up with older, sicker Americans, which would increase the premiums. About 19 million people have visited the website since the beginning of the month. Supporters say that shows, even with all the problems, the interest is there. Tara Mergener for CBS News, the White House.